Who's ready for more Paper Mario? Because I sure am. And also, you'll notice the temple is daytime now, as opposed to nighttime. Alright, I need to check my letters, first of all. So we got one to Merlin, one to Morty, one to Goompapa, one for Colorado, and alright. Excellent. It's Dry Dry Ruins. Weren't you totally blown away when it rose out of the sand? I was. That was awesome! I wish we could make it happen again. Mario and I are totally on the same page. Hey Mario, did you know that cacti save water inside? That's the only way they can survive out here. I did know that. Does that mean pokies are filled with water as well? All this blowing sand would cover up most paths. I don't even know which direction we're moving. If we find that big path again, we'll stick to it so we don't get lost again. Okay, I'm waiting for his tattles to get interesting. Is there nothing here but sand, rocks, and cacti? I guess we should be happy that we're not in a sandstorm. I did see a whirlwind, though. In an area like this, it's tough to find things that serve as landmarks, but that rock in the shape of a cactus is a pretty good one. Okay, seriously, Gumbario, I want you to tattle in the, like, funny ones. You know, it's smart to take a nap when it gets too hot. That reminds me of something my mom used to say. Take a nap, will you? That's your mom. There are big cacti around here. Okay, I, I did not want that to happen. Hey Mario, are you first yet? Oh yeah. Look! Look, Mario! There's actually some grass growing around here! No matter where we go, all I see is sand. That's what this is like. A sea of sand. Very perceptive, Mario. Okay, his tattles, I swear, get funny. Do you think there are any other mysteries in this desert besides the ruins? It'd be nice if we stumbled upon some treasure or something. Yeah, I, okay, I swear, his tattles eventually get funny where he's, like, getting delusional, and he's getting really sarcastic. We're lucky to have, we have hats on. We'd probably have come down with sunstroke by now if we hadn't had our hats. Oh, thank heavens! At last, we found an oasis! It's not a mirage, is it? The trees are so green, the water's so blue! Hooray! Oh yeah, you can't actually shake these bushes. Alright, I want another lemon. Who needs limes? Alright, it's time to store some stuff. Oh, the Toad Sisters are here! This is sure different from our jobs at the castle. We came all the way here to look for mystery and excitement and adventure. But it's too hot. I feel like I'm drying up. Quiet, girl! The heat of the desert isn't anything compared to our passion for adventure. As long as we stick together, we can do it. Take anything. We can go from one end of the Mushroom Kingdom to the other. I brought so many rare goods here at Dry Dry Outpost, and later we're totally stopping at the legendary Dry Dry Ruins. We're gonna be filled with stories when we get back home. Yeah, they stop in, like, every world. Alright, how many items do I have? Okay, I meant these. Oh, cool, a lot. And I still have my stopwatch. I just want to check... I'll check two items, so... Stopwatch for one. And I'm not using the nutty cake, let's be honest. Alright, we're gonna buy some dried pasta. It stinks, but we can use it for cooking. Whee! We should be near Dreader Outpost. Boy, after the endless sands of the desert, it'd be nice to put up our feet in town for a little while. Come on, Gumbario, get your funny titles already. This looks almost exactly the same as everywhere else. Fine, so there's a few trees growing here. Big deal, I still hate this place. <laughs> there we go.
It's scorching, Mario! I'm turning to charcoal! Why was that, like, in a bouncy, italicized font? Oh, this is Pokemon. Ah, uh, yes! Some more sand and some more cacti! How can you stand such a boring landscape? Look, when I signed on for this adventure, I was under the impression there would be no boredom involved. Yep, this is Pokeland. Actually, not nearly as many Pokies as I thought there would be. So blue, the desert sky. They ought to call it Big Ol' Super Blue Sky. I think I'm delirious. It's so hot out here. I can't think straight. How do trees grow here? When we find a big one, let's take a rest for a while. You wouldn't think that anything could grow around here. These must be a hardly type of tree, huh? Yep. Haha. <laughs> oh boy, I don't want to fight bandits. Woo! Nope, you're not getting my money. Alright, enough of the tattles, I'm just gonna get out of here. No, I'm not getting in Tweester. <laughs> Just follow the path back. Alright, I think Colorado's on this screen. Yes! Cooper likes talking to him. Well, to what ill luck! No clues about the ruins! I'm getting so frustrated, I just might have give up for the excavation for now. How very sad. I say, Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand. It looks like, it looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that a clue to dry dry ruins? Mario, oh chum, I beg of you, could you possibly part with it? Yeah, of course, man. Cheers, Mario, smashing really old boy. Soon now, the mysterious dry dry ruins will rise from the sands that conceal them. Dude, did you even see it rise? It was huge. It was like, it created a sandstorm, turned night, like, out of nowhere. Like, you, sh you should have seen it. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. I suppose a thank you gift is in order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. We get a star piece. You know, a bit of the magic of the desert. Cherish the memory, old boy. Alright. Archaeology is about mystery, and you know, without mystery, life is rather bland, hmm? Maybe you should write this stuff down, Mario. You're Colorado, correct? Name's Paracary, I deliver letters, and here's one for you. Please ignore my Princess Leia hair. Another do do yeah Oh, good show! It's a letter from my wife. Thank you ever so, old chap. This is just what I needed to give me the strength to go on. Dude, your wife cares about you. Go home and spend some good quality time with her. I know, I'll pass this along as a spot of thanks. I came across it while I was immersed in the dig around here. Now we get a star piece. Alright, let's get out of the desert, shall we? <laughs> okay, that one I forgot I had full stats. Keep in mind the heart blocks do not restore your star power, only your HP and FP. The only way to restore your star power is through sleeping and level ups. And yep, no buzzer there anymore. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you today. <laughs> boom, boom. Alright. So you remember Wacka? The creature that I left alone? Yeah. We're gonna be paying Wacka a visit. Ow! Don't hit me! 
You got the Wackus Bump. A Wacka Bump from Mount Rugged restores 25 HP and 25 FP. Really good. Unfortunately, every lump you give Wacka, he gets a little bit of brain damage, and it's kind of sad. Also, we can destroy this and get another super block. And out of Cooper and Paracarry, I'm going to do Cooper. Cooper's upgraded to Super Rank, so he deals more damage now with his Shell Attack. He now damages 3 as opposed to 2. And he gets Dizzy Shell, which can make enemies dizzy. Oh, that's right. Please tell me I can get an egg. No, I can't. All right. Even though I've got full HP, I need me an egg. And eggs are exactly like mushrooms, so... Train is bound for Toad Town. Yes, I'm going. Cooper, now you can ride in the back seat. And by that, I mean literally not a seat. You're just in the back. All aboard for Toad Town! Casey Jr.'s coming down the track, all around the track. Casey Jr.'s back. Look at your popcorn and your Cracker Jacks. I don't know if that are the lyrics yet. Toad Town, Toad Town. Here we are. Let's get out Kumbario. This Toad Kid acts like an adult. He's always talking about his travels. His favorite trip so far has been on the Dry Dry Railroad. These Toad Kids always seem to be together. They share all their secrets with each other. They're really good friends. Do, 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 do. Also... Didn't mention this on my coming through here because I was in a hurry. It was never fun when that old Koopa Troopa lost. He'd blame it on everyone but himself when he then raised a big stink. Phew, it was a crazy scene. <laughs> He's talking about Koopa Koop. Ah, uh, double, uh, talk about rotten luck. Hello there, Mario. Welcome to the playroom. To play here, you need a member credit. The kind of game you can play depends on what kind of member credit you have. Cool, you've got a silver credit. In that case, I'll make you a pipe appear that will lead you down to a jump attack floor. Rules for jump attack. When the game starts, 11 blocks will appear in the air. If you hit a block, a panel will come out of it. There are four kinds of panels. Hitting blocks is the only way to make panels appear. The coins you get will be determined by the order you hit the panels in. This is a one-coin panel, it will give you one coin. This is a five-coin panel, it will give you five coins. This is a five-times panel, your coins will be multiplied five times. This is a Bowser panel. If you find this panel, unfortunately, it's game over. If you get clear the nine blocks option, your coins will be doubled as a special bonus. You need ten coins to play. Greetings, my good man! This is the floor for the jump attack! Give me a second and I'll explain the rules for you. Eleven blocks will appear out of the air. If you hit one, the panel will come out of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Rules are written on the board over there. Yeah, I already read them. <laughs> I think you'll catch on quickly once you start playing. Um, uh, sure. I will do the nine block option. Get ready to jump! Attack! Wow, that was great! <laughs> Oops, bummer. Game over. Too bad. Better luck next time. Alright, let's try the five block option. Jump! Attack! Wow! Oops, bummer. Game over. Too bad. Better luck next time. How much money do I have? I'm two coins short. If there's a 250 coin badge, I'm gonna be annoyed. I can't believe I got Bowser that quick. Actually, I can believe it. My luck is terrible in video games. I'm like the anti Chugga Conroy. Alright, okay. Looks good. Let's do some cooking. Cook my egg. You'll never guess what this gives you. 
You get the fried egg! It's like the regular egg, except twice as good. Now, cook my whack as bump. What?! Uh-uh! No, no, no! That is supposed to give me the yummy meal. Well, we get the mistake. Okay, then. Well, that still counts as a recipe, but darn it, I used one of the rarest items in the game to make a mistake. That's not good. Okay, cook my dried pasta. And please put it in water first. Okay, we get spaghetti. That is a lot of Parmesan cheese on there. Alright, cook my lemon. There are plenty of recipes in the game, 50 of them, but not that many. Well, I won't spoil it. And we get the tasty tonic. Alright, out of these, time to cook my ultra shroom. And we get the shroom steak. Dish cooked by Tasty restores 30 HP, 10 FP. So that's actually worse than the Ultra Shroom, but that's one of the only ways to get it. Actually, there's a shop over here. I think I will take advantage of that. Welcome to Harry's shop. How can I help you? Please check some of my stuff. Check the shroom steak for starters. And... and a super shroom. I'll just drink the tasty tonic. Because <laughs> that's just going to take up space. Okay, what did I have in here? Actually, never mind. I cooked all the stuff I could. Whoosh! And I'm off. Back to Club 64. Oh, that final right line just jumped into my mind. Sit tight, O oh plumbing knight. The race is won, and now I'm done. It's I'm not really one to boast, but talent, I've got the most. Now to my lyrics, raise a toast. Cha-ching, Pop Diva will now sing. Ah, but I'm afraid I just can't sing without any music. Oh, drat and drear, my mind wasn't clear. Lyrics aren't the only thing Pop Diva needs again to sing. Without music, it's quite clear, but Diva's voice none will hear. Hmm, what shall I do? What shall I do? Who can pair my lyrics and music to? I know who! I hear, heard a rumor that somewhere is a composer beyond compare. Special power his music brings, can it help the diva sing? Mario, I'm on my knees, won't you help pretty please? Here, take this and go, find the music, save our show! And we get the lyrics, show it to a composer somewhere in the world. Well, we met the guy in Dry Dry Outpost, didn't we? Yeah, right after we came back. Sure would be nice to have a shortcut there, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's a shortcut. Alright, because you remembered the Toad Town Tunnels. Boom. And... Oh, hang on. Let me do some badge equipping. I'll take off Speedy Spin temporarily along with Quake Hammer. I want Hammer Throw. And you know what? Smash Charge could be good, too. Because... Blooper! And it's a different blooper from last time. You'll notice he's bigger. Uh, actually, I'll just jump. Because this is an Electro Blooper. This is an Electro Blooper. Electro Bloopers are Electro Charged. Max HP 50, Attack Power 4, Defense Power 0. A bit of advice. When they're emitting electricity, it'd be a smart move to avoid contact with them. If you can manage to damage them while they're emitting electricity, they'll go back to normal. 
Their attack power when they're emitting electricity is 6. Let's try to be careful, what do you say? Yes. And I'll show Kumbario's special or third move. This is where I equip Hammer Throw. That'll get rid of their electricity. And keep in mind, the charges stack on each other, so... Now Kumbario's gonna deal 6 damage per head bomb. Which is kind of ridiculous. And I'll have... Nah. Smash Charge is not as good as Jump Charge. You don't scare me. Yeah, Hammer Throw is great if there are enemies that you can't jump on, but at the same time you can't just ground hammer because they're airborne. So Electro Blooper is like a perfect example of that. All right, Electro Blooper, uh, one more charge. Oh boy! All right, let's head bonk. <laughs> yeah. Charge is kind of a cheap move. Alright, goodbye, Electro Blooper. Give me that sweet star points. And now... Free Warp Pipes. And we're back in Goomba Village! Isn't this lovely? First off... Uh, actually, Goombario can say hi to his family. Howdy, Mario, how are you doing? Okay. I've got a letter for you. So this begins a very long side quest, I'll just say that. Hey thanks, much obliged Mr. Postal Worker. Oh, great news! Fishing is one of my hobbies and this is from a friend who's planning a fishing trip. I can't wait. Oh, sorry to pile work on you, but could I give you a letter? If it's at all possible for you, could you deliver this to a toad named Musty? He hangs around the castle garden. I'd Excuse me. I'd really appreciate it. And we get the letter. A letter to Musty near Princess Peach's castle's gate. Oh, that's right. I need my speedy spin. No, not Dizzy Tech. Speedy spin. Oh yeah, this leads back to the alcove where Mario landed, remember? That'll come in handy later. Also, you remember there was the stone block at, like, the very beginning of the game? Yeah, well, we can destroy that now. Destroy it, and... We get Repel Gel, makes Mario transparent and completely invulnerable for a short time. This is one of the rarest items in the game, along with Wacka's Bumps and, uh, Ultra Shrooms. There are only, I think, four of them throughout the natural course of the game, and after that you need to use a bit of oinks to get uh, an infinite amount. Wacka's Bumps are technically the most rare item in the game, because... There are only ten of them. There actually are a finite amount of them. And although they are used for many recipes, all of the recipes that they are needed, for, needed quote unquote for, there are alternate recipes that net you, net you the same thing. Okay. Oh, land sakes, Mario! Is my Goombario bothering you? He could be a real handful sometimes, so I worry. Yeah, you should have heard him complaining in the desert. Ugh, Mom, come on, cut it out! Okay, apparently he's not- Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot, they fixed the veranda. I have a bad feeling in my bones these days. Evil fiends are afoot, I think. I wish that everyone could just live together in peace. 
So Mario, how goes the adventure thus far? Are you keeping cool? Keep your wits about you and you'll be Bowser hands down. Yeah, we should go back out on the veranda, cuz... We get a shooting star! Shooting stars that hit all enemies, attack power 6. That will be useful. Mario walked through the door frame! Alright. You know what we should do? We should go into this pipe. And it's Koopa Village. And Chuck Gizmo, yeah. This is how you get the Chuck Gizmo stuff, the warp pipe system. Question! What color of pants was the Goomba King wearing? Oh, that's easy! Red and white! That's correct! That's kind of weird that he's asking me about some other guy's pants, but alright. You've correctly answered four questions so far! And he's out. Oh, what perfect timing! Eh? I guess the younger generation's not so bad after all. I don't suppose you could go to Goomba Village, I was just there, and find Goompa, the grandfather? He still has a tape I lent him a while back. Uh, could you get it for me? I really want it. If you say, the tape, he'll know what you're talking about. Try to keep this whole thing under wraps, would you? You promise, young fella? What, is this like a videotape of something stupid you guys did together in college? Not that I would know anything about that. Ah, I love this song. Doesn't it remind you of a tropical island? Get down! Yeah! I prefer the Golden Oldie Station. Recognize this song? Dun 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 I sung this song in Super Mario World! Information Station. But moving on, folks. Da 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 da! Attention, listeners, because here's your big chance to win. Anyone who takes a Koopa Leaf to the front of the main gate in Toad Town will receive a surprise gift. Right in front of the main gate, there will be a Toad who looks a bit eccentric. Talk, hand the Koopa Leaf to him. That's right, folks, you heard me right. The big gate on the west side of Toad Town. That's the one. You've got only five minutes. Hurry up, everyone. Let the game begin. So there are a couple of these throughout the game. Ooh, cool. Koopa Leaf. Boom. Yeah, this is going to be another side quest episode. There will probably be quite a few of those. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, not really. Side quests are fun in this. Yes, I'll go to Rolf's bad shop, never fear. But I gotta hurry and get the Koopa Leaf to the eccentric looking toad. Oh, there's so much I want to do. Here he is. No other toad has a pink hat. Hello, I'm the toad of the trading event. How are you? Did you bring the item? You know it! Congratulations! This is the item for today. We get maple syrup. Use it wisely. See you again for the next trading event. Boom. Also, interesting thing here, if we go back to Mario's house... Where's Luigi? And why is there music coming out from beneath our room? Ooh, from the Koopa Troopas! Dear Mario, thank you so much for taking care of our fuzzy problem. We, the Koopa Troopas in the village, really appreciate what you've done for us. We must apologize for not rewarding you with anything, but we are simple Koopas. Please drop by the village anytime you like. Anytime, really. It'd be our honor. Best of luck from all of us. Sincerely, the Koopa Troopas at Koopa Village. Well, that's very nice of them. Coins earned? Oh yeah. Star pieces collected? Okay. Oh, that's right. We can also... We can trade star pieces with Merlo. There's so much I want to do. I want to go back to the dojo. I want to do more training events. I want to help out Koopa Koo. I mean, like, there's so much to do, you know? Also, I want to withdraw my nutty cake, please. Because Koopa Koo is going to want that soon. Okay, or maybe not. All 
Alright, let's go to the dojo. The next fight should be fairly simple. <coughs> ah, Mario, welcome to our dojo. I want to try. Very well. This time, Lee will fight you. Now, Lee, let me see how you handle Mario. Certainly, sir. I will defeat him, Master. I bet you've never seen a move like this before. Yep, we are fighting Gamario. Uh-oh, Gamario pre prepared for a very, very hard blow on your head. Ouch. <laughs> it's Lee disguised as me! His max HP is 20. Do I really look like that? No way. He'll use head bonk and tattle. He has the same skills as me. Of course, I'm much better at looking and, <laughs> and more debonair, and I hope by that I'm stronger. You so are, Gumbario. It's Mario, silly! He's here to save Princess Peach, who was kidnapped by Bowser, remember? He fights until the bitter end, no matter what enemies attack. <laughs> I think it's funny that Lee actually like does his own titles. Ooh, you are strong, I'll give you that. Oh, you're strong too, you deal 5 damage? Goodbye, Lee. Uh, I can cut out a lot of the dry dry jets are trekking, so we're really probably down to like 20 something minutes. Enough, Mario is the winner. Lee, you have much training to do. Very well, I give you this, Mario. And we get the second degree card, proof of Mario's strength won by defeating Lee at the dojo. You are welcome to train with us anytime. Yeah, I probably won't be coming back there for a while. The next fighter is pretty tough. Alright. Oh, wait, that's right. Merlin, I gotta deliver a letter to you. If you want to predict your future, talk to me from across the table. You're Merlin, right? My name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I have one for you. Here you go, Merlin. And wow, I just clipped through Mario's face. Another letter duly delivered. Hmm? Who's it from? Hmm. Oh, my granddaughter Merly. She recently entered the family business. Hmm, is that so? Oh, I see. Interesting. She opened up her business at Dry Dry Outpost, deep in the desert. It's located somewhere quiet off the main drag. She seems to be keeping busy. That's good to hear. Thanks so much for bringing this letter. I'll give you this. Now we'll get a star piece. Yeah. Okay. One of my letters is to Morty... Oh, he's in Koopa Villa. Oh, that's right. He's the toad at the toad house. Whoops. Well, let's go to Shooting Star Summit and trade us some star pieces. But first off... Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. To think! You're must tea, correct? Yes, I've got a letter for you. Oh, it's from Mr. Koopa Pop, that old codger. He... What the heck? He's not old. We think alike, he and I. It's been ages since I saw him. Too long, indeed. This reminds me, I was just thinking about sending a letter to one of my other friends. Your timing is perfect. This letter is to my friend. His name is Cooler, and he lives in Koopa Village. I'd like you to deliver this to him. I'll bet he's near the entrance to the village. He usually hangs out in front of the toad house that's right on the edge of town. No big rush, but it would be nice if he got it soon. Alright, yeah, that starts the giant letter side quest where we get like a million letters that we're going to have to deliver. But the end prize is worth it. Kind of. Alright, let me in. Also, does this look familiar? We get the deep focus badge that Peach put in there. Oh man, I need a nap. Both in the game and in real life. I'm quite kind of tired. Maybe I'll just take a bath though. During this Merlot, I guess I want some stuff. First off, feeling fine. Number of BP you need is free. We get the feeling fine badge. Protects Mario from poisonous and dizziness attacks during the uh, battle. All right, Mister. Why don't we swap some more? Okay. I'm going to get pretty lucky. I'm going to exchange pretty lucky for five star pieces. Look at the pretty lucky badge. Makes enemies fail to attack Mario every once in a while. Alright then, mister, why don't we swap some more? 
So I'm trying to look ahead. So money, money is really good, but it's also very expensive. Oh man, he doesn't actually have that many badges. Mainly because I've traded for a lot of the cheap ones. Feeling fine will come in handy for an upcoming battle, I will just say. Even if it does take free BP, it is worth it just for that one battle. Otherwise, you're going to have a very hard time doing it. Well, this episode is going to be a bit longer than usual. I still haven't paid Ralph a visit. Oh, and I need to give Minty her uh, flower seed. Oh, and I need to go to the post office! There's so much to do! Let's receive some mail. Ooh, from Bombette. From the Dry Dry Railroad. Dear Miss Bombat, we write this letter as a humble request to you, and the most worthy and explosive of all bob -ombs. It's still a long time off, but later this year we will be staging a new opening event for a new Dry Dry Railroad route. We feel the event would be a galabash if we could enlist your bomb-bursting help. Crowds love fireworks! Anyways, we'll get in touch with you after your adventure ends to confirm the dates. Sincerely, Dry Dry Railroad, Transportation Department. Oh, that's cool, Bombette's already got a job after college. <laughs> That's more than I can say. <laughs> Alright, Ralph Bad Shop. Please tell me if you have Jump Charge. Okay, no you don't. But you've got Dodge Master. I'm buying that one. That makes it easier to do action commands, and it allows you to power bounce infinitely. So, that's a good one. Double Dip lets you use two items during battle, and I don't really use items that much, so I'll get first attack. Only takes 1 BP, and it's nice for killing enemies in previous worlds very quickly. If you plant all four of the different colored bubbled flowers, a miracle will occur. I wonder what will happen. I can hardly wait for that day to come. Well, I'll may help it come a little faster. You've got a seed for me? Thank you, I'm really happy. I love the little happy dance she does. It's so cute. Okay. Also, Twink never appeared to us. That's kind of odd. Alright, back to... Oh, wait, no. First to Goomba Village to get the, um, <coughs> tape for Koopa Koot. Whatever the heck that tape has. Also, is Chuck Gizmo here? Chuck Gizmo's here! Yes! More star points for me. Which of Mario's battle commands is on the far left? That's strategies. Correct! <laughs> Goodbye, Chuck Gizmo. Until we meet again, indeed. Alright. Goompa. I understand there's a weird college tape that I really want. Hmm, Mario, it looks like something else is on your mind. What? Koopa Koot says he wants the tape back. That old Koopa. How does he remember things from so long ago? Okay, just wait a moment. I'll bring it out for you. I I'm really want to know what stupid stunt they did in college. Hit it behind a chair. Interesting. Here, this is it. When you see that old Koopa, give him my regards. We got the tape. Tape delivered to uh, delivered Koopa Koot. What's that? You want to know what's on the tape, do you? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't tell you at the moment. It was great, though. <laughs> was it now? Did you guys dress up as the school mascot? Also, I haven't shown off here yet. You can probably guess. Yep, yeah, it's dry, dry outpost. Oh, yeah, I need to deliver the lyrics. Okay, this is stretching into a 40-minute video, but I can't help it. A composer, yes, that's me, a blah, 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 we've heard this before. Here's your lyrics. Hmm? What's this, then? Well, uh-huh, fantastic. These are incredible lyrics. The wording is simple, yet whoever wrote them packed them with powerful feeling. It's been a long time since I was moved by something so deeply. They moved me so much, I just thought of beautiful music to accompany them. Wait just one second as I write them down instantly. Phew, I've written the perfect music for these lyrics. I caution you, though, that this music can only be sung by an expert. I know of no one up to the task. Here, take my masterpiece. And we get the melody. Give it to the master poet in Code Town. Alright. Chuck Gizmo! Are you here? Yeah, I'm, I need to end the video soon for my own health. My throat's parched. There he is! Chuck Gizmo! He, he looks so weird. He's a worm with a duck beak. 
How many windows does the Goomba House in Goomba Village have? Who in the world would know this, but it's one! Alright, so long, farewell, until we meet again. Alright, now we go to Koopa Village. Okay, I'm gonna go to Koopa Village, I'm gonna deliver the two letters, I'm gonna go to Koopa Koot, and that's it. I swear I'll be done with the episode afterwards, I swear. Unless I meet uh, Chuck Gizmo again. But that's only once. Suffer and shy, guys! Mario, you're a real gent! Did Goompa complain? Hehe! <laughs> take this as a gesture of my eternal gratitude. Oh, don't be so polite, but I got fella, take it! Oh, what perfect timing! Oh, the younger generation isn't so bad after all. I don't usually ask for favors, but I've got a hankering for some Koopa tea! It's the very best! Fetch a bit for me, would you? Koopa tea can only be made with a fresh Koopa leaf, which is found in the village brewing. It requires a special technique. Only a culinary master can make this tea the proper way, and that bursts with flavor. You know, I think young Miss Taste Tea of Toton is quite the tea brewmaster. What do you say? You run along and get me back some piping hot tea! I have your word, young fella. Alright, Koopa Koot. Oh, look! He's everywhere! <laughs> what obscure Paper Mario question am I going to ask you today? It's... What's the name of the leader of the Red and Blue Goombas? Oh, that's easy. That's the Goomba King, not Dr. Goomba. Correct! Okay, you ask me what the Goomba King's name is after you ask me about what color his pants are? Kind of weird. Alright. Ooh, hang on. Is Colorado home yet? Nope. Oh, Mario, you won't believe it. My husband, he came home out of the blue the other day, and he's already left again! Off on some other fool's errand! That infuriating Koopa, I just can't believe him. Wow. Uh, well, Colorado. Not cool, man. Okay. I'm going to take a nap, and then I'm going to deliver the letter. You're Morty, correct? I'm Bill Caracari. I deliver letters. Here's your letter! Blah, blah, blah! A letter for me? Oh, it's from my wife! How sweet. I love her so. That is adorable. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Phew, oh, pardon me. I got really wrapped up there. That wife of mine, she's so cute, she drives me crazy. Thanks for bringing me joy. Here, take this, okay? Star piece. Do people just find pieces of stars lying around randomly? Are they really that common? That's not even to say any of the star pieces that are hidden in underground panels that I can't even get to yet. Have a good adventure, thank you. Hey, Coover. That's him. How are things going, Mario? Swimmingly, I hope. You're Coover, correct? I'm Pericaria. Deliver letters and here's your letter. Hey, thanks! You came at a good time. I was just about to send a letter of myself, of course. Oh, would you take a look at this? It's a letter from Musty. The two of us are always thinking along the same lines. He's one of my fishing pals. I'll tell you, if you don't fish, you should. What a hobby. And to think, I was just about to send letters to all my fishing buddies about a trip. Once we have a good place set up, I'll write a letter back to Musty. So, could you send this along for me? Thanks so much. It's to a friend of mine who's always fishing at the Toad Town port. He's easy to find. Oh, the guy with the weird voice? Thanks again. Yep, letter of the fish mail. Alright, we are totally out of time for today, and my throat is about to give up out of agony. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Farty. Tune in for the next episode. We're actually going to do stuff besides side quests. Have a great day, and God bless.